everybody, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna bring you my very latest, latest and greatest listing that I have here in the village, in the village of the Luna. And uh, we're at 3061 Centel, okay? So 3061 Centel Street in the village of the Luna. This is a beautiful Lily home. And you're just gonna love this. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,960 square feet living area. Um, we have it listed for 534.9. Awesome home, better than new, because you're gonna see all the wonderful upgrades that this home has to offer. It is a two car and a golf cart. So it's a 2022, it's only two years old. So there's absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing you have to do to this home. It's already been done for you. Painted driveway, enhanced landscaping, the hardscape landscape wall in here. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous home, ready for you, move in ready. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do a walk around the outside first, and then we'll go ahead and go on inside. We are doing an open house today, so I wanted to take advantage of doing this video at the same time we're doing this open house. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of this awesome home. All right, so like I mentioned, it does have a painted driveway. The hardscape landscape walls here with granite rock chips inside. Love these bird of paradises. They're just, to me, they're just happy little plants. All right, so we're gonna do a walk around first. Love the uh, Robolinis over there. I have Robolinis at my home. And look at what the neighbors have done. I mean, the, the neighbors have really enhanced uh, their landscaping in this, on this street as well. These people really went all out over there. So this is just a great street just to come home to every day. All right, so uh, you have your hibiscus, your bottle brush. I mean, great landscaping. All right, this home does have gas, natural gas, and you do have an on-demand tankless water heater. So you never run out of hot water here. Again, your air conditioner is only two years old and they've, like I said, they've landscaped all the way around the entire home. Look at that thing. Lawn mower. All right, so nice. Landscaping back here. This is what your lanai looks like from the outside. Again, the rock and edging go all the way around. And wonderful landscaping, little bushes as we go around here. All right, so let's go ahead and go on inside. And I'll show you all the wonderful features of this home inside. All right, so the first thing I'd like to point out 
This is the guest suite area. There is a pocket door here. You can push this button. So if you have guests that are visiting, they have their privacy in their own little guest suite area. You have a guest bedroom on the front side of the home, and then you have one over here on the side, and then you have your guest bathroom. So let's go ahead and show that to you. Nice bay window in the front bedroom with vaulted ceilings. And believe it or not, this bay window really adds a lot of space to this room. Without it, this room would be cut off right here. And it's very noticeable if you don't have that bay window. But this is a bedroom because it does have a closet. This is what your closet space looks like. Guest bathroom. Very pretty, high definition, laminate countertops. A shower and tub combination with a rain head shower fixture, light above in the soffit, and tile floors. You do have a linen closet right off the bathroom. And then here's the second guest bedroom. It also has vaulted ceilings. as well as a closet. Okay, so here in the foyer, we do have a coat closet, which not all homes in the villages have a coat closet right here in the foyer. A lot of people from up north are used to that. So all tile floors, except in the bedrooms. This is typically your dining room area, but they've actually made it a little office space. Because how many places do you really need to eat you do have your countertop that you can put bar stools on, and then you have your breakfast nook on the far side. We'll go ahead and look at that in just a second. So very spacious living room, and this is what we call an open floor plan. So when you have your kitchen all open like this, like I said, you could put bar stools down here. You do have extra cabinet space under here for storage. Isn't that awesome? I had one of my customers go and sell one of her homes and she really missed the fact that she had those, she didn't have those cabinets in her new home, but, uh, these right here really give you a lot of extra storage in this home. All right, so GE appliances, nice gas range, microwave, uh, beveled edge on your countertops, very nice effect. And then like I said, you have your breakfast nook. So there's another look at this. Very spacious kitchen, pantry area. Your pantry has pull-out shelves. That's very effective. 
You can get all the way in the back, back there. A lot of space up top as well. And as you can see, they're all soft touch clothes. Doors and drawers. They do have the ability to have surround sound. And here's a look from the kitchen. Master bedroom beyond. So you're never outside of the party in this home. I'm gonna go ahead and take and show you the spacious garage that's in here. So this is your two and a half car garage. Your HVAC system is tucked away behind a closet. And you also have your utility sink tucked away. So breakfast nook area that they're using as a dining room. Very spacious, very easy to have a table in here that has a leaf in it. You could expand that and still have room in this area. You have a sliding glass door right off of your breakfast nook area. Here's your lanai. Nice, roomy. You have your fans out here. And you have your outlets over here if you wanna hang a television on this wall here. Last but not least, we have our master suite. Nice digital AC for you to program with. Tray ceiling, or it could be called a coffered ceiling as well. You do have carpet. So a very spacious master bedroom. This is a, uh, a queen size bed. You could easily, easily put a king size bed in this room, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and take you inside the, um, the master bathroom. Okay, so here in the master bathroom, we do have a pocket door. So if we have one, part of the couple that would like to sleep in and somebody else has to get ready for the day, you can just close that off for privacy, keep the light out. I have a pocket door in my house. Love these pocket doors. All right, so huge. Let me just go ahead and bring you on in here to the, um, into the master bathroom and, and show you all the wonderful features that are in here, okay? Okay, a huge walk-in closet. It goes way over here, as well as over here. You do have a pocket door for your master closet as well. Directly behind us, check out this shower. This shower is huge. You have a nice rain head up here. I love the fact that they have a window up here for natural light. 
This is great. So you, all you have to do is just turn on the faucet over here. Your towel rack is right there. And then once you turn it on, you enjoy a nice shower inside, inside this spacious shower. Over here, we have the um, commode area. Another good use of pocket doors. So it gives you a very private commode area. And then over here, we have double sinks. So you have a linen closet over here. This is where your dirty laundry goes, out of the way, tucked out of the way. And then double sinks. And these are high vanities. So we call these comfort height or adult height vanities. Comfort height because they're a little higher than your standard vanity. So if you're there, you don't have to lean so much more into the sink when you're washing your face or brushing your teeth or stuff like that. Um, again, soft clothes. Very nice. And a lot of counter space for you over here as well. All right, so that's the master bathroom ensuite here with the master bedroom. Okay, so as we leave the master suite area, I want to give you a sweep of the house and show you once again the very open concept part of this home. Nice high ceilings. We call these volume ceilings. They kind of volume up and then out through the entire living area of the home. As we saw in the guest area, they have high ceilings and then the coffered ceiling in the master bedroom area. All right, one more time, just to give you a good feel of walking through the home, leaving the master bedroom and lanai area, back through what is typically the dining room area. Past the guest suite to the foyer. And then we're gonna go ahead and take you in the drone right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do a little drone version for you of this home. And we're gonna go ahead and take it on up in the air for you. Kinda. Give you a little view from the air. I wanna show you the the conveniences. All right, first we're gonna take a look at the backyard. Okay, so that's a good shot of what the backyard looks like. Now, we are very close to Water Lily. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go on up and give you a good look at Water Lily and where the golf cart bridge is. So if we're gonna kind of take you down the road, so that's Shannon below us. Let's go ahead and fly up Shannon. And then that's Marsh Bend right there.
So there's Water Lily right there in front of us. Now we're searching for the golf cart bridge. So there you see the golf cart bridge going over the turnpike. Okay, so we took you to the right to go to Water Lily and the golf cart bridge over the turnpike. Now we're going to go ahead and take you over to the left to go to Deluna Recreation Center. So there's the Luna Recreation Center below us. Okay, so that's very close by. And one more time over to Lily, Water Lily. And there's Water Lily right in front of us. All right, and then off in the distance, we have Edna's on the green as well. And then there's the golf cart bridge going over the turnpike.
which will take you over to Brownwood. All right, so what'd you think? Fantastic home, right? Well worth the 534.9 that we're asking for this home. So if we can help you out, if you really like what you saw and you'd like to get more information about this home, or if you'd like to go ahead and make an appointment with us to be able to show you this awesome home, please give me a call at 352-204-9026. I'd love to take you in inside this home and really show this to you in person. So again, Ira Miller with Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel. I do hope to hear from you. And like I said, please give us a call at 352-204-9026. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you in our next video.